I know the gardeners work on Wednesdays. Why am I filming? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another favorites video. May favorites, cannot believe it's June. Truly, deeply in my soul, cannot believe it's June. Also, I like how I'm trying to be all summery in my neon colors. It is so gloomy today and has been for the past week and will be for the next week, which I'm not entirely complaining because the heat is my nemesis. I hate being hot. I hate summer. I'm having to embrace it a little bit more because it is when my son was born. So that part of summer I love obviously, but summer is my least favorite holidays. Uh, holiday <laughs> season. <laughs> the only thing, good thing about summer beside my son being born is that it's right before Halloween, so. But yeah, I have some favorites for you today. I have a flop, a thing I didn't like, and I really have something, like I have so many different things. I have a nail polish, makeup, some home decor, some baby stuff, a little like health thing. And it's actually a miracle I have this many favorites because I legit spent three weeks out of this month sick. Literally and and my son was sick So it's been like a hectic not even a hectic month just kind of like a chill recouping recovery mode month But I was still able to find some things I love which speaking of I went to the ENT yesterday which <laughs> I've never been checked for a sinus infection before but I I was sick all over a month ago I think at this point maybe a month ago and I still have so much snot I'm still coughing and sneezing and I think I had pink eye and it was this whole thing So I went to see if I had a sinus infection. I don't but if, if you've ever been checked for a sinus infection He took these like little tweezers and like pried my nostril open and I was like wow <laughs> But anyway, I don't have a sinus infection But my doctor did say that he's seen a lot of patients with this lingering sickness thinking it's inside It's a sinus infection. So he said just wait it out use a saline spray if you want to like flush some things out so yeah, if you're in the same boat as me, because I mentioned I was sick, mentioned my symptoms, and so many of you said that you had the exact same thing, you were recovering from the same thing, so that's what my ENT said. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the faves, the flops, and the in-betweens. There are no in-betweens, it's just faves and flops, but let's go. So first, I wanna take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, and certainly one of my favorites is Aura Frames. I worked with them maybe two months ago, last month, for their Mother's Day special, and I am back for their Father's Day campaign discount situation. If you don't know what Aura Frames are, they are very nice, incredibly looking, well-crafted digital frames. Aura Frames has so impressed me with their quality. The frame itself is so nice. The pictures look incredible. It will play video. It will play your photos that are live photos. I prefer to leave the live mode on my phone just because when I'm taking pictures of Milo, you know, toddlers are, they're everywhere. So I, I like the live mode to like see. You can adjust the photo in the live photo, which I think is fun, but it's also like a cute little video and the Aura Frame will play it, which I think is so much fun. I have the Carver matte frame. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a horizontal frame, but even if you upload vertical photos, it will just put two of them next to each other, which I absolutely love. And you guys know if you've watched any of my shelf Sundays, any of my like home decor content, I have empty frames everywhere because it really truly stresses me out to get photos printed. I really need to do it. I It's like on the top of my like long to-do list, but it just really truly stresses me out of like what photo looks good in which frame, the colors, what size, especially since Costco photo shut down, like where do I get it printed? <laughs> and so the Or frame is perfect because it literally has an app, a free app. It, you don't have to pay anything, which is awesome. It has unlimited photo storage and you can share your frame with different family members. So like, say you have like a family of five, everybody can upload to the frame, which I think is super cool, but it's just super easy. Like make it a weekly thing, a monthly thing to just upload your favorite photos into the app and they're there on your digital frame. It just is so easy to have the latest and greatest and cutest photos of my son up. We have it in our kitchen. Bradley loves it. It's, I just am so delighted. I've been seeing Aura frames on YouTube over the years and I've always wanted one and when they reached out to me if I wanted to try it and work with them I was like yes please and I truly sponsored or not could not be more impressed with the quality and just the sharpness of the photos it just it looks really really nice so if you're looking for a Father's Day gift this might be perfect especially for fathers fathers are so hard to buy for <laughs> especially mine but I feel like any parent any grandparent would absolutely love this you could take it a step further open it up 
pre-upload some photos, maybe take some cute new family photos or some cute new grandson photos. Like my dad doesn't give a crap about me anymore. It's all about my child and that's fine. If you would like to try the Aura Frame, the Carver Matte Frame, you can get $30 off with my code, which is Amy30. And my code will also provide you with free shipping, which is fabulous. It's a beautiful, great gift that will last a lifetime and bring joy for years and years to come. So thank you to Aura Frames for sponsoring this portion of the video. All right, so a nail polish, the one that I have on now that I just retouched up yesterday and it's already starting to chip, so don't look too close. But it's this beautiful orange. This is from the spring summer collection. I'm really, not to be greedy, but I'm just really hoping, praying that OPI sends me their like summer collection. I was in Ulta yesterday actually repurchasing my favorite top coat, which is the Essie Gel Couture top coat, which I used on top of my touch up manicure. I can link that down below as well. The best top coat ever. But anyway, I was in Ulta in the nail section and it's like, it's like the second Xbox collection, I think, but it's like neon and I'm all about the neon this summer. Like look at my dress, look at my nails. Like I'm, I can't wait for a neon summer and I need those polishes. So I'm just really, please OPI. <laughs> but this is from the influencer collection, me, myself and OPI. This one is called Silicone Valley Girl. It's a beautiful bright orange. And like I said, it like borderlines neon, but like it would also be a appropriate orange for like Halloween time. I love a good orange polish and this one is a really, really good one. I don't have much to say about it. A good orange can be hard to do and hard to pull off, but I think that this is just very suiting. I think this will be nice for all skin types. It's just a good bright, but not too neon, not too pumpkin orange. Like it's just so fun for some. Next up we have some makeup. I actually did a demo of both these next two products in the demo, but like I used them on camera in my latest vlog. I can link that up in the corner. First is the Rare Beauty Blush. I have been on the hunt for this shade for a while. My Sephora was sold out of it. It was sold out online. I went to the Americana one day with my mom and my sister. I left Bradley and the baby at home. I shopped, we ate lunch. I ate lunch uninterrupted in a restaurant. It was literally a magical day. <laughs> but uh, we went into Sephora and they had the shade and they actually had three of them. And so me, my mom and my sister all got one. Um, the shade is Hope. I, this was my first experience with a Rare Beauty blush. I am loving it. They are so pigmented to the point where I could see why maybe people don't like them because they might be too pigmented. You just have to be careful with how much you put on and then what kind of brush you use. Typically my favorite brush to use for a cream blush is the Sigma F, I think it's F15. It's like a duo fiber one. That one I've discovered spreads it out a little bit too much. So I switched to just the Real Techniques it's like one of their staple brushes. I think it's the contour brush. I'll link it down below. It's just a little bit smaller to like just blend it out right where you want it. The Real Techniques brushes are so good. I actually bought one on sale yesterday at Ulta. It's like this all yellow brush. I think it's a foundation brush, but I can use it for blush or whatever. But it was on sale for five bucks and I've been looking at it because I love how it's just all yellow. I'll put in a picture and I'll link it down below because it's on sale online as well. Real Techniques brushes, like I like Sigma Morphe. I like my brushes, some brushes from Morphe, but the Morphe brushes molt on me more than anything else. Real Techniques is the best brushes that I've tried. Like they just work, they wash really well, they don't fall apart. Like I've never had like the brush head come off the handle or anything, like they're just the best. So I've, I've switched to using that, but anyway, like I said, like I I'm wearing this today. I love the color. It's just this really nice kind of neutral mauve color. I am now wanting the color Bliss, which I think that one's popular because I was looking on Sephora site and it was sold out the other day. I feel like there's a lot of hype around the Rare Beauty Blush. People either love it or they do not like them. I am really, really enjoying it. I like the way it dries down. I like the finish of it. I like the color. Like I said, it has a bit of like a, like a trial period, like figuring out how to blend it into your skin in a way that you like, but once you figure it out, I think it's great. I am including this as a favorite, but I don't think you need to run out and buy this. This is the Hollywood Glow Glide, that's hard to say, Face Architect Champagne Glow Highlighter. I love pretty much everything I've tried from Charlotte Tilbury. Also, it has really cute little stars on the packaging. One of my favorite products from her is Discontinued and it's their Bar of Gold Highlight. I have it in my everyday makeup drawer. I use it all the time and so I wanted to try um, more of their highlighters because I love that one. And this is a really nice highlight. I'm wearing it on my face today. I always say this about Charlotte Tilbury products. It's the, it's along the same lines of, I just feel like their products are pretty foolproof. They're pretty like user-friendly and they just blend really, really well. Like the powders are just so nice. I have on her bronzer today and I was putting it on. I was just like, I love this bronzer so much. And I do 
really, really like this highlighter, so I wanted to include it in my favorites. Um, I just, I feel like, at least for my preferences, this highlighter, you can't really go overboard. It is a little bit more blingy than some of her other ones, but it just, for me, it's like the perfect amount of bling, like shine. You know, it's not like a zebra stripe, but you definitely get a good effect there. I really, really like it. I just put it on my cheekbones, down my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow, and I think it looks really pretty. It's expensive. It's not my favorite highlighter I've ever tried in the whole world, so I don't want you to like run out and buy it, but I do think it's really pretty if you're into Charlotte Tilbury products and you've been wanting to try this and you've been curious. I'm really, really enjoying it. There is a shade lighter than this, but I like champagne type colors, so I got the champagne glow. But I think they have like six different shades, so hopefully there's something for everybody, but. Something else from Charlotte Tilbury that I can shove my foot in my mouth. Is it shove my, f yeah. <laughs> because I said I didn't like it. This is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. I thought I didn't like this because at first I thought it was drying out my skin, but it must have been a different product or maybe a combination of whatever foundation I used that day and this. But the first time I used it, my skin felt so tight and dry that I like never wanted to use it again. But I was like, let me just make sure. And then I realized, oh, it wasn't this. <laughs> this is the smaller size. I just got the trial size just to try it out. But again, will last me for a while because setting sprays, like unless you're using it every single day, which I guess I do, I don't wear makeup every single day, but when I put on makeup, I have been setting it with this. And this is a very good setting spray. I realized like I have taken naps in makeup with this on my face and my makeup looks intact after it. I've done other things with makeup on my face when I haven't used this and I've just been so impressed. <laughs> I also feel like I have a face where like makeup just kind of easily falls off, especially like I'm laying around with my toddler all day. He's like, we're learning the parts of the face. So he's always touching my eyes, going eyes and my cheeks. And so like my makeup's just getting rubbed off, which is totally and completely fine. But this definitely, like I've been impressed at the end of the day when I wear this and I'm like, oh damn. I also, my friend who's a makeup artist, Carleen K on Instagram, she's the best. Um, She did a chiropractor test where like she had a full face of makeup, set it with this. Well, she did it with two different setting sprays. The first time, whatever setting spray she was using or maybe no setting spray, like her entire face was left on the chiropractor like table paper. And the second time she used this and she was like, there's still makeup there, but I'm very impressed with the way it still held up on my face. So for actually getting your makeup to stay on your face, this is fantastic. It does add like a little bit of glow. Um, it's just, it's a nice setting spray. Again, it's probably expensive, but I am enjoying it and I will definitely use this up and probably buy it again. A beauty product I did not like, which I just did, should be already uploaded, a products I dislike video. I can link it up in the corner. This is just adding to the list of Trader Joe's beauty items I do not like. So this is the Nourish Spa conditioner. I feel like we had trial sizes, maybe from like a Christmas advent calendar or something of the Nourish shampoo and conditioner and I liked it. So I bought this to try. My hair has never looked worse and that's why it's up in this like mop on my head. The smell is incredible. The smell is truly divine, which also that might have been my thought process behind buying it. But it just like, my hair has never been frizzier in my life. I am having more of like a frizzy hair problem in postpartum. I've talked about that, how like I just cannot figure out my hair. Um, I recently finished up my Young Living conditioner, which I mentioned in my latest empties video. I can link that up in the corner. And I used to love that conditioner. It isn't quite cutting it. So I switched to this one, which we had in the drawer. This is even worse. It says contains argan oil to smooth and shine. I don't know about shine, it certainly does not smooth. Like my hair has truly never been frizzier. So I don't want to use this anymore. Bradley is probably not as upset with it as I am so he can use it up. It says it's for dry hair, which like, I guess my hair doesn't feel dry. So that's good. But like the frizz is no good. I'm sorry if you can hear the gardeners, you guys. So I don't know, have you used this? Do you like it? I would love, okay, so my hair texture description, the hair itself is fine, like fine, you know, like fine, coarse, thick, you know? But I have so much of it. It's very frizzy, especially after postpartum. Like it's been frizzy my whole life. I, I realized that I don't trust hair products because as like a 10 year old with the frizziest, Hermione-iest hair ever, I would buy like the bedhead things and nothing worked. Nothing did what they said they do. And I feel like products are better about that these days, but I still am always so skeptical. I'm like, nothing is going to fix my hair. So if you have a suggestion for frizz, for just smoothing out my hair. Like my baby hairs lately have been crazy. Like just, I, I for nourishing and frizz, if you have a recommendation for shampoo and conditioner, please let me know. Cause I would like to go on the hunt and find something that like makes me not hate my hair. My random health thing, which I have mentioned this before in my Amazon favorites video. I did that last year towards the end of the year. I'll link it up in the corner. But this I've had for years. 
This is a little heating pad situation. I think it's filled with oatmeal or rice. I'm not really sure. It's kind of dirty, honestly. It could use a wash. Don't look at that. But it's a heating pad. You put it in the microwave. I usually heat it up for about a minute. That's been my soft spot. A minute and a half is too hot. With this, whatever sickness I had, I, I think I coughed so much and I like threw out my neck or this side. I couldn't turn that side. It's still not completely better, but it's much better. But I, would, I was living with this around my neck. Like this helps so much for neck injuries. And what I like about this is like, it's cloth and like pretty manageable. So like sometimes it was hurting down my back. I could put some on my neck, down my back, sit up against something during period time. This goes right across my cramp area or my lower back. Like it's just the best. If I'm having knee pain, I can like wrap it right around. It's just awesome. So I will link this thing down below. It got a lot of use this month and I love it. <laughs> also shout out to my Young Living CBD oil cream, whatever the heck it's called. I'll put in a picture of it. It's just, I could grab it, but I'm not. That stuff saved my life. I felt pain literally all the way from the top of my head, down my neck, down my arm. And I would just slather it in that CBD stuff and it helped so much. So if you're into Young Living, check that stuff out. It is incredible. It's kind of like an icy hot situation, but more natural meets CBD and holy crap, saved my life. I have some fun home decor stuff. Most of it is from H&M, which I did a whole haul here on YouTube. I think I'm out of cards, but if I'm not, I'll link it up in the corner. But I also did a shorter, quicker haul on Instagram, which I just recently uploaded. You can check that out. I'm really behind on life. Like I have reels that I haven't posted, whatever. But H&M Home is so cute. They have so many cute things. First up is this vase. It's like a pink striped stoneware vase. I love that it looks hand painted, but I've had this in the dining room with flowers in it and it's just so pretty. I love the shape of it. I wanted to put a plant in it, which like I have a few vases where I put plants in. It's risky, but I'll do it but the base of this is a little too thin for that, but it's perfect for flowers. I absolutely love it. Speaking of flowers, another fave. Trader Joe's peonies, are you kidding me? First of all, am I saying that right? Peonies, peony, peony, baloney, who knows? I never have treated myself to those peonies because they're expensive. Trader Joe's flowers in general are much more affordable than everywhere else, but if I'm gonna get flowers, I stick to like the four or five dollar bouquets of like cheaper daisies and whatnot. But I went to my parents' house for dinner the other day, my mom sent me home with a bouquet of peonies from Trader Joe's and banana pudding. It was very sweet. I thought they were pretty already. I had no idea they opened like that. I'll put in a clip because right now they are stunning. Like I want, I'm gonna buy those every time I see them now. They are worth the $10. You get five flowers for 10 bucks and it looks a little chintzy, but wait till they open up because whole, it blew my mind. I posted on Instagram yesterday. I was like, oh my God, you guys, <laughs> like who knew? I think everybody knew but me, but oh my God, I wanna try and grow them next year. So yeah, I need to get some peonies to put in here. But I also got some taper candles. I love these striped ones. They come in sets of two. I think they're around like seven or $8 for both. I haven't burned them yet as you see, so I don't know how well they burn, um, but I love the colors of these. I'm probably, they have a yellow color. I'm probably gonna order those as well, but I just think they're so cute. And then also maybe my favorite thing or like the thing that just wows me the most is this little candle holder, which I did see something similar at the Dollar Tree. I should go back and see if I can find it again, but this side holds like a tea candle and then this side holds a taper candle. So it's like a two in one situation. I want to order a bunch more because I think they would look pretty just like down our dining room table if we ever finish it. I just, and I love how fancy this looks and it's under $5. I got it on sale, but I still think it's under, maybe it's like $5.99, $4.99, but it's like such a well made item. And I love the like, pink glass, it's just so pretty. So, and then speaking of the Dollar Tree, I've been on the hunt for these for like over a month. It's these neon twisted candles. I've never bought candles from the Dollar Tree. I saw these on TikTok and then I went on a mad hunt to find them and I failed. I went to like four different ones. I had my family go into them, nobody could find them. I um, had some time to kill yesterday in between some things and I went and they were there and I was like, ah! but they're just so cute and just so anthropology-esque. You guys know I'm always looking for anthropology styles on a budget, all three of these packs cost me $4.11. Like, are you kidding me? And I knew I wanted the orange and the pink. I didn't think I'd want the green, but they were so pretty that I couldn't leave them behind. And they'll be great for Halloween, are you kidding me? I feel like I need to go back, get more. <laughs> so I can't link these, but definitely check out your Dollar Tree. They also have really cute bubble candles, which bubble candles were so trendy and expensive and like hard to find for not a billion dollars or not a million, but like $20, dollar twenty-five at the Dollar Tree, incredible. So I'm just absolutely delighted. <laughs> you guys, I've, I posted on Instagram a while ago that I was hunting these down with no success, but 
I had some success. And really quickly, one more thing, because I have to go because Bradley needs to go, and it's a baby favorite. These toys, like I got these on Amazon. We went to my brother's house. My niece had these and Milo was obsessed with them. Was that not the greatest thing you've ever heard? So fun for kids, but also fun for adults because I really enjoy putting them back together. <laughs> I find that with a lot of his toys, like I enjoy picking them up at the end of the day, like all the colors and sorting things. Is there something wrong with me? Probably. But also, you can connect them. And so you can make a mega one. Me and Bradley made a mega one the other day on opposite sides of the couch and then we pulled it apart. It was incredible. But these are great, super inexpensive, awesome for like throwing a couple in the diaper bag for on the go and super fun. I will have them on link down below, but I also have my Amazon storefront down below. I have other favorite toys from Amazon. And this comes in a pack of eight, I believe, for under $10. Very affordable, great toy. But okay guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I will have everything linked down below. Thank you again to Aura Frames for sponsoring a portion of this video. I'll have the link to them as well, as well as the discount code, all the info you need in the description. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll have my face somewhere and then some videos that you may have missed or you might like. I love you guys so much. Stay tuned for some more fun videos. Follow me over on Instagram for more in time updates at Amy Lynn Butchin. But yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.